Check, check. Here we go, bench. Alright, I guess I'll be playing, playing a little league action, a little legacy league action here. Um, <clears throat> let's see, maybe I'll just start with this, well, let's get the deck list up here, I guess it's right there. I wish I could, maybe I can put my, find a way to put my deck list in the bottom chunk down here. That would be cute. That could be a good project for myself. Some kind of resizable deck list widget that can show images kind of like these ones on the side here, over here. But, like, you can squish it into this space. I like it. That could, that could work good. A little JavaScript or something. <coughs> Another time. I'm not going to do any live coding today. <laughs> Maybe if I start needing multiple minutes between rounds, we can do a little live coding. All right. Um, whoops, looks like we might be, oh, somebody's already joined, awesome, alright, so I won the roll, this hand's not thrilling, but I think I keep this, <laughs> I'll probably just be fetching a basic island, because... I, my man is going to be important to turn this hand into something that is functional. Okay, I think I'll keep both those. So they're kind of looking like some kind of, uh, oh, excuse me, some kind of a control deck, maybe. There's a Cabal Rit. I want these. I want that third land. With that third land, you can start thinking about how I'm actually going to win the game here. Although if they play like a counterbalance or something, I'll be a sad little man. But main phase brainstorm. And here I can hold the veil of summer up too, which will be good. Just in case I need it. If they drop a swamp and combo off or something. <laughs> Thought they were about to do it. Thought they was going to do it. Alright, let's see. So, I'll play the Delta. I think that's going to end up getting me a Bayou. Because I want to go grab... Hmm, probably grab the Badlands here. And I'm actually just going to cast one of these Burning Wishes. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get just yet. Um, Might be a draw for. What is up, Abe? Yeah, my, my sleep has been a little fucky, so... Perfect for you, uh... I guess I can't call you a European anymore, huh? For you Brits, it's you're right in the right time zone. <laughs> um... What do I get? Oh, I don't have the draw four in my sideboard anymore, because I swapped the Ideas Unbound to the sideboard. So, I probably don't grab Ideas Unbound. Um... I guess I'll grab the Therapy here. And then I'll just pass. <coughs> Yeah, my wife and I both woke up at like 4.30 this morning, and we were going to play some Diablo, 
And then she fell back to sleep, so I'm streaming instead. <laughs> What's up? See, this is the, apparently this is the time to stream. Because all of you, all you people are, you know, starting your days. <laughs> it's approaching lunchtime over in, uh, in, uh, in your country. I think your country's. Here it comes. Dark Rit. They're jamming it. The real question is, is this the Epic Storm, or is this... It's not. It's Ant. So hopefully my Veil of Summer will do me some good. I mean, I say it's Ant. It could be Doomsday. You never know. <coughs> So that's their Veil of Summer, and that's fine. <laughs> I'm hoping that they're not on, like, the Breach, some Breach version of the deck. It's fine, your Infernal Tutor's fine. They dropped a wish claw talisman. When they cracked the LED. This must be just getting an ad nauseum from here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get to see the deck, I guess. <laughs> LEDs are good hits for them. They need some free mana though to make this into a thing. Now that I know what their deck is, I can go off without fear, though, on my turn. So they drew a Lotus Petal. They found a Lotus Petal. <laughs> well, good. I'll, I'll keep the language to a... Uh, I think it's great parenting, but I'll, I'll be sure to keep the language down. <laughs> you guys ready to get them? This is only a practice room match. After this one, I'll go join a league. Alright. Here's the veil coming in. Hopefully they don't have wishes in their deck. Um, because they could probably get up to enough storm to be able to wish for a grape shot or something. Bye, you... Veil of Summer. <laughs> that's, uh, that's good. That's good parenting right there. I'll make sure to talk through my piles as clearly as possible. <laughs> Alright, so obviously they're set up to be able to go off again next turn. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I can just win don't think I'll have any trouble with that. So, in fact, I don't think it's going to take anything fancy because they're at three and they don't have any mana up. So I should be able to just Burning Wish um, and not even show them the Doomsday, which will be good. <coughs> I'll crack that for black. Cabal Ritual. Burning Wish. for tendrils. And they're dead. Easy peasy. I think there's some value to hiding the doomsday here just because they might lean harder into their own Veil of Summers next time for defense and that will teach them a lesson. So I'll bring in the crypts. Um, I'm not playing Fluster Storms anymore in the sideboard. Um, so it's just going to be the crypts. I suppose I can bring in the Cabal Therapy as well. And... Excuse me. Usually cut a Burning Wish. 
Um, I actually think I want to get this, see if I can fit the ideas and bound into the deck. Because passive turn piles are a good way to beat Storm, as long as they're not playing Brain Freezes, which it didn't seem like this person was. Because if they were, I don't think they would have gone for Ad Nauseam in that spot. I think they would have gone for a, some kind of a Breach-related kill. Um, let's see, let's see. I can probably cut a Lotus Petal. And, well, I don't know about the Lotus Petal. I can probably cut... I can probably cut the Cabal Ritz. Could maybe cut one Echo. The problem with Echo in these matchups is, like, it's a strong card, but if you Echo and Whiff, it can be, um... bad. I'm gonna cut an Echo. I think the... No, I don't want to cut Cantrips, because I think being able to, like efficiently find your interaction and stuff is important in this matchup. So, we'll try that. See how that treats me. I did go down on business spells, um, which is worth considering. Just thinking about how that might affect my my game plan here. I think this hand is okay, though. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the... hopefully use the Brainstorm to protect myself. Um, my my doomsday or something, and um, I should play a different land though because now if they just have it, they might not fear a veil of summer. So I probably should have played the polluted delta, but I'm hoping that they're just leaning on their own veils for defense here. But, I think we're in an okay spot. So I'm going to brainstorm now. Um, I drew a veil, so drawing the veil is good. So I think I put back the, uh, well, maybe I don't put back the echo. I think I'll put back the burning wish. And then, I guess one of the cantrips. For your day, maybe? And then I'll just pass. <laughs> Hopefully this is just a um, normal ant. And they don't have any good fancy tricks for getting around Vale. Ponder. Sure. So, on their end step, I think I'll be cracking the Delta for, probably for my other Underground C, so that I can cast both Ponders if need be. Actually, I'm, if I get a Dark Ritual, I'll be in a pretty good spot here. Um, but I want to get the Underground C because I still have other fetch lands to get a green source. So, let's see, Underground Sea. I almost clicked the Bayou, even though I was just talking about how I want Underground Sea. Oh, I drew the LED, so that's a pretty good draw. I actually need to play a fetch land, though. And I'll ponder. Uh, maybe I should have gone for it, but I do have a lot of cards in my hand. So, like, I could have hard cast Doomsday and then tried to do some kind of Echo Pile. The problem is that I'm not... I have a lot of cards in my hand, so there's not a good way to make it deterministic or clearly deterministic. So, ooh, there's my alarm to wake up and take my dog out, but I don't need to do that. Interesting hand. They're, like, pretty obviously sitting on a veil here. Um, and so I don't want to... I don't think I need to keep that thought seize, because I don't think it's going to do me anything. Second veil is pretty good. So the second veil is actually... This means that I can veil on their turn to protect myself, and then I can veil on my turn to protect myself against like a fluster storm that they might be having.
So there's the thought seize. So I'll just snap off a veil. Now if they have the fluster storm as well, like if they have fluster storm thought seize and the tools to go off, then it's like that's whatever. It happens. Yep, so there's the fluster storm. So that's too bad. Hopefully they won't also have the tools to go off, though. Um, I will not pay. If they can't also still go off, I still won't be in too bad of a shape. Um, but it'll depend a little bit on what they take here. I can see them taking the LED. Nope, they took the other veil. Okay. Doesn't look like they're dying. <coughs> I wonder if they took the other veil because they don't think I can go off or because they didn't want me to protect myself against their fluster storm. Okay, they have another thought seize. That's another good, another fine reason to take the, the veil. So I can see them taking the LED here. Um, but if they don't, like if they take the doomsday, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to just eat off with the, the echo. Especially because they're tapped out. So I almost feel like they have to take LED here. <laughs> but if they do take LED, then I just kill them. I actually don't think they have a good... A great line here, um, because if they take the LED, then I just cast Doomsday Ponder into an LED and kill them. Um, if they took Doomsday, I just eat off with the Echo. If they take Ponder, I just kill them with Doomsday. So, like, drawing the bargain there is interesting, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to matter. So I'm going to have one, two... 3 plus 5 is 8, but I'll have the ponder, so killing them should be um, very doable here. Unless they have like Mind Break Traps in their deck, I don't think I will have an issue ending the game here. So I need an LED, I need Petal, 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 and Oracle. And that should end the game. So this is just a um, an echo pile with Oracle. And even if they do have a surgical here, um, it's not gonna. Like, I'll, I'll still have enough cards left in my deck to draw, and I don't have any duplicates that they can hit there. So, the Oracle is the last card, but it's fine because of the Ponder. I didn't need to worry about the eight cards being a problem, because I have Deterministic Kill. Even with eight cards. And I don't actually even need to crack the LED here. Um... There we go. Alright, now that I have given Ant a solid spanking, let's jump into a league. Oh, uh, let me throw the list up here. So... It's basically, it's the list that I told El Dorte you should run in, um, at the FNM or whatever. Um, we've got 
the single cruel bargain in the main deck as our, our draw spell for picking up doomsday piles. Um, obviously Echo does that too. Ideas and Bound in the board, which is something I might need to get a little bit used to, because sometimes I like to wish for the draw for, but I just think that its main... I think that not having it in the main deck is going to be better, and you can bring it in in the matchups where you do actually make a lot of passive turn piles and stuff. Other than that, the rest of the sideboard is pretty much the same. Um, no Fluster Storms, because... I felt like they weren't doing all that much for me. Um, when you consider that, like, a lot of the combo decks that you'd want them against are playing with silences and stuff and veils now, um, it just feels weaker. So, Tormod Script is kind of my anti combo um, card. But other than that, it's the same. The only thing that I really would like to change is my mana base is still a little funky. And it actually, when I, like, give people the list and then they just take it and play it, like, the fetch lands are kind of messed up. Um, they're a little bit better than they had been. But, like, you have your four deltas, and then... Really, I th really think it should be, like, one Tarn, one Misty, one Verdant, one Bloodstain. The Misty's being in there make it a little bit better. And I'm on 16 lands now, so... I have two, two green sources. But anyway, let's jump into a league. Who else is on at this hour? Probably Europeans. Hmm. This is a very interesting hand. I think I'm supposed to keep it because it's good, but it doesn't have any red mana. Um, which makes it less good. But I think it's still probably fine. <laughs> Obviously, if I, like... Since I'm on the draw, if I top deck a Lotus Petal, I could just go off. Birds of Paradise. So this is probably like a Leovold deck or uh, something. Could be like a Maverick. Whoops. I'm going to play around the Maverick angle, so I am going to try to avoid Wasteland here. Um... So, I can kill on turn 3 with this hand. <coughs> Mom. So this is definitely seeming more like a Maverick. Um, glad I played around the Wasteland. What you got for me? Sylvan Safekeeper. Interesting. Maybe, like, is this green-white depths or something? Anyway, I'm going to continue to play around the Wasteland. I do need this to make red, though, um, to be able to win the game. So, hopefully they don't play any kind of awful hate bear. But I shouldn't have any trouble winning. Um, from here, I think. So, I'll draw another land, which is whatever. And now... We might get a little fancy. So I want to kill with Oracle, and I want just to play around Veil, and I want to kill with... Um, I want to kill with Oracle, and I want to have zero cards left in my deck when I do it. Because Burning Wish is my draw spell, I need to take into account the fact that Ideas Unbound is going to um, 
leave me with some cards left in my deck, but I do have a lot of mana. So I think what I'll do here, I don't think there'll be any kind of any kind of issues with this plan. So I'll grab the Valk, I'll Dark Grit. One thing I do need to consider is a potential Abrupt Decay on one of these LEDs, and if I can beat that, that shouldn't be... That shouldn't be an issue. So cast a doomsday. And then so I'll be burning wishing for war ideas and bound. Ideas and bound will draw me like LED pedal cantrip. So there'll be two cards left. I'll use the pedal cantrip, I'll cantrip into another cantrip, which will leave me with two blue mana, and then that cantrip will hit Thoughts' Oracle. Okay. And that should be fine, even if they do decay one of my LEDs. Done. So, Oracle on the bottom, and then a cantrip, and then these three. And then I'll play an LED. Play another LED. Hold priority. Make a bunch of blue mana. Grab ideas and bound. Hopefully they're not hiding main deck Pyroblast or something. I have a ton of mana, so I don't actually need to cast this Lotus Petal or anything, but... <clears throat> I'm going to sequence my spells correctly regardless. Crack that. Make more blue. Not that I needed to. Put that on top, and then that on top. Preordain again the oracle, cast the oracle. <laughs> there. Easy peasy. Let's see. So I'll cut veil. I'll bring in the chains and the abrupt decays, and I think that might be it. Although, actually, this is a matchup where you want to swap the bargain for the ideas and bound. Um, in these sorts of aggro matchups, bargain is worse because you just don't have the time to take advantage of the four cards, and I'm more likely to be doing past turn piles, especially if I'm trying to win through a Thalia or something like that. The other thing I would consider doing here... is maybe bringing in the Cabal Therapy, because it can hit a Thalia, or it can hit... Um, <coughs> excuse me. It could hit Mindbreak Trap, which is a concern, a consideration. So, do I want to do that? I guess I probably do. So I'll cut a Preordain for that. Um, this... Speed is going to matter in this matchup, and so having a bunch of preordains to kind of faff around with is not... Like, you can you can shave a preordain, I guess is what I'm saying. Because they're, what they're going to be trying to do is land a hate piece, like a Thalia or a... Um, you know, something like that. And if they don't, or if they don't... Like, really, you just want your hand to be broken. If they do land one, really, you just want to already have the solution in hand and not have to bother trying to go look for it. Hmm. I think I want to keep this. Um, there's a couple problems with this hand. It doesn't have a ritual, and it's susceptible to wasteland. But it does have cantrips, and it has a solution to a hate 
piece, so I think I'm supposed to keep it. Um, they're mulliganing down low, so that makes me feel a little better about keeping this hand, but it could easily struggle if they have the, the right cards. <laughs> What's up? I don't know who you are, G Panta 101 but thanks for tuning in. Watch me drink Mountain Dew at 6 a.m. Scrublands, this is probably some discard. So they took a doomsday. I wonder if they have surgicals. Um. Oh, cool. Yep, so here's a surgical. That's fine. So I'm going to have to come up with another way to win now, um, which is whatever. Probably their hand isn't very good, but, like, they, you know, they're probably mulliganing for heavy hate like that. Um, so I'm at this point, I'm looking at, like, a natural storm or maybe an empty the warrens. Uh, I'll grab this cabal, right? I could use Echo as a potential engine as well. It doesn't look like they have much else going on. I wish I could draw a fetch land, though. A fetch land would be good. Ugh, and no red mana either. All right, well... That's too bad, but... Not a lot I could do about it. So I'll just hit my land drops. I have answers to... Whoops, I didn't mean to open Audacity. Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Alright. So that brainstorm was pretty unfortunate, and it's possible that I should have just not cast one, because I'm not under pressure, and I... Uh, yeah. I'm not under pressure, I didn't need to do it. The thing is, I'm like, you know, if I could have gone off and gotten goblins right then, that would have been the absolute best case scenario. Um, and, like, I don't want to hang around too much because goblins will get worse as the game goes on. Eldamri's call, interesting. Okay. I mean, they know I have a chain of vapor, so I'm not sure what they are getting here. I would imagine it's like a Thalia or a Gaddic Teague, but I could be wrong. This is an interesting thing to note, is that chain of vapor could potentially get me to threshold by letting me, if I can draw a mana rock or something, it might let me bounce my own bounce my own permanent to build storm and get towards threshold for a Cabal Rit. So they grabbed a Mother of Runes. Why would they grab a Mother of Runes? I am going to need to have some good draws here. Um, and not this step, because I know that I have Underground Sea, but like the next the next one. So they must they must have something. Like a Sanctum Prelate, maybe? Just Gaddic Teague? That is annoying. Um, well, because I have two Chain of Vapors, I can actually beat that without too much trouble. Um, I just need to find something to do. I guess that's potentially good enough. I probably will bounce the Teague on my end step. Um, or on their end step, I mean. Because... Actually, I wonder if... Yeah, so if I bounce the Teague, I can make four mana here and have enough blue to cast an Echo. If I drew, depending on what I draw, I could do other stuff. That might even be better. But... But yeah, I don't know. This hand, this is unfortunately not working out well because that brainstorm was very weak. So there's the Sanctum Prelate. So I'm going to... 
I'm gonna do this right now. And they're gonna protect it with mother runes. And then I'm going to do it again. Now, I don't know what they name with Sanctum Prelate here. <laughs> yeah, Legacy is, is definitely wild. I, um... So they're surgical in my chain vapors. Sure, dog. That's fine. I already cast both of them. <laughs> Not going to need them now. I guess they get to see what's in my hand so they know what to potentially put the prelate on, but... Underworld Breach is a hell of a card. Honestly, I'm a little surprised it couldn't you couldn't break it in modern. It's So they put that on two. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I feel like like it should still be busted, but so they put it on two. I'm going to cast this echo because I don't know what else to do. Um, and I'm pretty desperate to find something. I actually, this Sanctiprelin on 2 it puts me in a pretty bad spot. Um, I might not actually be able to win through that now that I'm thinking about it. Thassa's Oracle is 2, Ideas Unbound is 2, they surgical my Doomsays and they surgical my Chains. So, oh no, there's a Chain of Vapor in my graveyard, they didn't take one away from me. Alright, I have an out. <laughs> not for long though. I'm going to Thought Seize them, I think. Actually, there's no reason to Thought Seize them here. That was dumb. I thought they still had the Teague in their hand. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to concede this. They, um... Me brainstorm locking myself cost me way too much time, and they drew they drew out of their, um, their mulligan, so... Okay, this hand is better, so I'll keep. I am still looking for something to do pretty quickly here, and I'm incentivized to grab an underground C because I need to make black next turn. There's a dark red, though. Dark red is good. Actually, I probably just want both of these cards. So I go dark red... I think I can just kill them next turn. So, if they don't have discard for me, I can just try to get them. Obviously, there's a lot of things they can do to potentially interact with me. But, um, yeah, they have the Thought Seas. So they probably take the Burning Wish here. Just too bad. They did take the wish. I do have the fetch land on top, though, so my brainstorm's not going to be horrible. Um, I drew another burning wish. So I'll put back the oracle. Um, if I put back...
I'm just wondering if it's worth it to try to make a pass a turn pile right now. <clears throat> so I could fetch, I could use the Misty to fetch like the other underground sea and then go Dark Rit, Cabal Rit, Burning Wish, Dark Rit, Cabal Rit, Petal, Burning Wish, Doomsday and make a pass a turn pile, but it folds to a lot of stuff. It folds to, um, Athalia. I guess it doesn't completely fold to Athalia, because I could pass a couple turns and not die. But it dies to Wasteland. Although, again, I could probably pass a, one turn and not die to a Wasteland. But, I just don't know. It That seems like it's it would struggle against the surgical. It seems like it's asking a lot of my opponent to not have anything meaningful. I think I'm going to do it, though. Living on the edge. Come on. I might be able to get them to spend a surgical now if they have it to take me off of threshold. Which is okay. Which actually wouldn't do anything, but so I mean, I could I could grab the draw four here and draw four, but that seems unnecessarily like that seems higher risk almost than making the pass the turn pile. I think if they had the if they had a surgical in hand right now, they would have played differently earlier. So. So the pile is going to be Ideas Inbound, and then Lotus Petal, Thassa's Oracle, Lotus Petal, Chain of Vapor. The last card doesn't matter that much, I don't think, although maybe it should also be a Lotus Petal, because like a Chain of Vapor at the bottom isn't going to do anything for me, whereas a Lotus Petal might if I have to pass multiple turns. So. The order of these cards matters a little bit because it makes it so that I can pass. Whoa, that was loud for me. Yikes, that spooked me. <laughs> Sound effect of that window popping up. So this way, like, even if they have a Thalia, okay, so there's the Wasteland. Um, his mom. That's fine. So now I'll draw Ideas Inbound but not be able to cast it. Um, if they don't make me discard the Ideas Inbound, next turn I'll draw the Lotus Petal and be able to cast Ideas Inbound and Petal, I mean Ideas Inbound and draw uh, Petal, Petal, and Oracle and win the game. Um, but if they have a Thalia or something, I'm going to have to wait a little longer. Green Sun X is one. What do you get on one? Hierarch. Okay. Well, it looks like I got this one. Unless they have a Mind Break Trap or something, but if they have Mind Break Trap, so be it. Or if they have Surgical for my pedal, so be it. No surgical for the pedal, so my break trap is the only concern here. I 
Well, the spell resolved. Okay. Sick. And that's a little sketchy, but Oracle is a hell of a card. The be probably the best thing about Oracle is that it lets you do things like that, where you can build piles that are salvageable even if you have to pass multiple turns. You had an Echo of Eons in your first try of Breaking Breach. Yeah, there's so many fucking cards that they printed lately that are just bonkers. I can't, like... <laughs> like, I can't believe some of the cards they printed. Like, Breach is a big one. Just absolutely absurd. That that they thought... They thought a Yawgmoth's Will would even... With Yawgmoth's Will for less mana that didn't exile the spells would be, like somehow fine. <laughs> Alright. So, I am on the draw. This hand is alright, though, so I'll keep it. Mox Diamond, okay. I got a Mox Diamond deck. Verdant Catacombs and no no play. So another brainstorm. I think I'm gonna play the island here. I'm not sure like if they were a him to Turok deck, I feel like they would have played a him to Turok. Um if they had one. Obviously they could top deck one, but I'm not gonna even Brainstorm lets me defending myself against that to some extent. And I not playing the fetch potentially lets me play around that. So an echo, huh? We're very close to being able to win the game. Um I'll brainstorm on end step, and if I can draw another mana source, I should be able to win the game. I'd really like them to play something so that I can kind of know what I'm up against, what I have to deal with here. Savannah. Caracas. Is this a freaking Thalia or something? Knight of the Reliquary. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. So they probably left the Caracas up to hold up like a sword supplier shares. Um, so... Barring something like a main deck mind break trap, this looks like it is plenty to kill them with. I think I can put back. I don't even actually need the. I'm just thinking about what I need to kill here. Um, I definitely can kill. I'm just thinking about what the best way to do it's going to be. But probably I'm just thinking too hard about it. Let's put back the Veil and the Wish. And I'll crack this and grab my basic Swamp. Swamp, and then draw for a turn. Petal's a good draw. I'll grab the underground C. Now let's do a little math. I'm gonna play the Lotus Petal. Um, I go Dark Red, Cabal Red. Doomsday, and then I'm going to need to brainstorm. I'll brainstorm into like two, so we'll need two Lion's Eye Diamonds. 
Um, a Burning Wish. A Lotus Petal. And then, let's see, there'll be one, two, three from the Doomsday. Three plus five cards in the pile. It's eight. Yeah, okay, so this is plenty. Um, I'm going to put in another Lotus Petal. Should be good enough. And then... Brainstorm. So Brainstorm will draw me the two LEDs in the petal. Put back the petal in the ponder. I can go LED, LED, and then flashback echo. This LED is going to make... This is actually interesting. I could flashback the echo now and draw exactly seven, but it doesn't really matter. Um, because I have the ponder in my deck, so it's deterministic no matter what. Barring any shenanigans. Gotta shuffle for the rubbins. Um, hold control, although actually I don't even need to now. I have enough mana available to me. Tendrils of Agony. I'm feeling like I have to poop. Alright. So, nice easy win in game one. It's nice when they don't have anything overly hateful. So basically the same sideboarding as last time. Um, since they're Mox Diamond deck, I'm assuming this is four color loam, um, and that they could have Chalice. I don't think it changes my sideboarding a whole lot, but, excuse me. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bring in the Cabal Therapy this time. Four color loam tends to have a little bit more diverse hate. Okay, this is interesting. I think I want to keep this. Um, it has some wasteland fragility issues potentially, um, but I have I can cast this decay. Interesting. Okay, not the best start from them. That's a good draw. So I'll start with the Thoughtseize. Hopefully they. Well, now even if they do have wasteland, this kind of insulates my more important blue mana source from their wasteland. Okay. What's going to matter more here? I guess the Thalia matters the most because I have the Decay for the Chalice. Um, that's a pretty good hand for... Although actually they couldn't even cast the Thalia, but I guess that's not that big of a concern to me. Um, I would rather take it from them and not give them the opportunity to draw something that lets them cast Thalia. So this is presumably going to be the Chalice, which I will just decay. And I'm going to decay it on my turn just in case, well, even if they had Veil of Summers, it wouldn't work because of Chalice. So I can probably just, oops, I want to actually play my land here. That's going to be important. So I'll get to Decay on their end step, and then they're presumably going to play the Sylvan Library. Um, I'll Decay the Chalice on their end step, and then I'm going to have to find something to do pretty quick, because they will be able to see a lot of cards. Um, So get rid of the chalice. And I drew a bayou. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of a tough decision. I want to brainstorm, but if I don't find any fetch lands or any even any other like a blue land to ponder shuffle, 
I'm going to have a little trouble. I'll be in a little bit of a weird spot. It's possible they don't find anything good off their library, but between the library and the bob in their hand, they're going to start to see a lot of cards. So I probably need to take the higher risk, higher reward play here, I think. Okay, I did see a fetch land. Um, I'll put back this other brainstorm, I think. I can thought seize them, but there's not a whole lot of value in it, I don't think, because I probably should do it though. Just because they, you know, they're going to see a bunch of cards at the library, so it doesn't really matter if I take something from them now. Although taking the bob is certainly fine. Um, I'm going to ponder, and basically I'm going to hope to put together a kill for next turn. Okay, that's not bad. I think I can work with this. So obviously there's a number of cards they could draw that will put a damper on me trying to win the game here. But if they don't have any graveyard hate or wastelands or another lock piece, <laughs> might be able to put something together. Or if they draw themselves down really low with the library, I might be able to put something together. <laughs> this hand is a little slower to come together than I really wanted it to be. Um, I tendrils them last game, right? Whoa, blue. The blue is interesting. Okay, a bob. I'm feeling pretty good now. I think I can kill them here. So, if I go... Brainstorm... Or no, not Brainstorm. If I go Dark Rit off the Underground Sea, float a blue from the Trop to Cabal Rit. That'll leave me with seven black mana. Burning Wish for Doomsday, and I'll have three black left. But that's barring, that's assuming they don't have any graveyard hate. One thing that I absolutely detest about Magic Online is that you have to do this. You have to make sure to float the mana. Like in a real game, I can just announce Cabal Ritual and use one of the black and mana from this land. But if I'm not, if it's not floating, then it's going to use the floating black mana to cast this Cabal, right? And I specifically want to make more black mana than they're willing to provide. Okay, so I got that to resolve, which is good. Use Burning Wish's ability. Grab Doomsday. Cast Doomsday. And then... I don't want to get Mind Break Trapped, but I'm not sure if there's a good way to play around the Mind Break Trap here. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to avoid a Mind Break Trap here. Um, So, oops, I'm going to make this a ponder. This might let me go off, like, try again next turn, um, if they do Mind Break Trap me. So, So yeah, let me th let me think here. Thus is Oracle. Yeah, this is fine. Thus is Oracle on the bottom. And then if they do have my rig trap, they're probably just going to hold off as long as possible though. So it won't matter. 
that much if I can try again. Um, and then the order of these cards doesn't matter too, too much. I don't think. Cruel Bargain. Actually, I'm going to go down to three, so I'll just be dead on board if they if they uh, have a Mind Break Trap. And they're taking a very long time, so it kind of makes me think they have a Mind Break Trap. Although they could have a Surgical that they're thinking about using. So, we'll see what happens. If they've got the Mind Break Trap, they've got the Mind Break Trap. Alright, I definitely have to go to the bathroom, though. Okay, cool. Um, I actually... Let me think. You know what? This is unfortunate, but I don't think I can finish this stream right now. Um, so, I'm going to log off for now, and I'm going to try and finish the stream later today. Um, so, thank you to all of you tuned in. Hopefully, you will be able to pick up where we left off um, in a few hours. But streams, you know, league's starting out pretty good so far, so I'm feeling good. Um, but thanks for watching.